Hey, two more games Saturday. Let's do it. Why not? They have the Saturday lines up. So let's, let's do go it. Houston. So what is this tip? Like six o'clock your guys time, six ten Eastern somewhere around there. Houston yeah. Villanova is the first one. Of course they keep Duke for uh, the uh, marquee matchup. Houston, as we mentioned, a five seed and a favorite. <laughs> so over Villanova, the two seed, uh, Houston one and a half and one twenty seven. I don't love that this is in San Antonio. I don't love that Houston's 10 and 0 against the spread and 10 and 0 overall in their past 10, although Nova's 7 and 3 and 10 and 0. Um, but I like Villanova's experience. I get that Houston went to the Final Four but uh, last year, but it was a totally different crew. Villanova, even with their 2016 and 2018 team, they had some guys on that team from the program. Colin Gillespie yeah. is a, you know, 11th year senior. Um, Jermaine Samuels. I love it. Yeah. He was a freshman on that 18 team as well. I just think when it comes down to Gillespie and Jamel shed, I give Gillespie the advantage. I know Houston does not get pushed around. Kelvin Sampson team doesn't get pushed around. I think it's close. I have Nova winning at all. So I have to have them as a two seed beating Houston. Although they're fun to watch Houston. I'm going Nova parlay kid. You're going Nova as well. Yeah. I'm going to, like you said, I've kind of been on Nova too in this tournament. Um, yeah, Houston burned me uh, against Arizona. I, you know, I was on Arizona. I, I wasn't sure about Houston, but I'm not sure if there's been a, a more impressive team in the tournament so far than Houston. Mm -hmm. I can't believe I'm saying yeah. that, but they've been maybe the most uh, impressive team. But I've been on Nova, been backing Nova, veteran team. Great, this is a great coaching matchup. This is might be the best too, right? Like Shashevsky, you don't want to put them in the top there, but in terms of getting the most out of their players, right? Samson and I texted this to my, I think one of my sons last night. I said, he actually texted me saying that this is a, a great coaching matchup. But he thought last night, Samson, he was saying a couple of things about Samson. Mm -hmm. And I said, Samson, nobody gets more out of his players than Samson. Right. And if you watch Samson, he does not stop coaching the whole game long. I don't know where these guys at their age find their energy to just coach, coach, coach the whole game. They're fantastic. But Jay Wright is, you know, he can match him, if not better, Samson. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the, again, Gillespie, the, the, I just feel like they're just a little bit on, they're on a mission. They're all business, Nova. I've been with them. I'll take the points here, Sal, um, with Nova. We've been riding them. Let's, I'm not jumping off Dude, now. One more game. Uh, Bri, you like yep. Houston? I don't know. I look at Houston. I'm like, oh, well, yeah, they're good, but they don't have this. I, I, I can't. I can't pick out a flaw. It's good. This is that's. I would. I know. I would flip it. I'd say right. Nova should be a point favorite, point and a half. But uh, I think that's a little weird. But otherwise, I do think it's going to be close with like two and a half minutes left. Yeah, the weird thing is, right? It, it, this is pretty much. I mean, it's kind of like a pick 'em game, even though you get the minus two here. Um, yeah, I, I, I thought. I mean, I thought you were right when you guessed it yesterday. I thought Villanova would be a yeah. one point favorite, but the weird thing is, Houston plus three sixty to win it all. Nova plus seven hundred. Really is that weird, right? right? Wow. Re really weird, right? Considering this is a uh, wow. yeah, the jump up to two now. Wow. I mean, obviously hmm. they're, you know, they're, these two are down to the elite crazy. eight, but Houston right now is the favorite uh, to win it all, which is crazy. But I do think they have been the, like part like I was saying, I do think they've been the most impressive team. It's kind of nuts to say it, but they are so good defensively. They fly around and, you know, if they give a what Parley like was saying, like if they give up an open, if they gave up when they give up an open three last night, Samson goes crazy on these kids. <laughs> it mm -hmm. goes absolutely Jesus. crazy. You know they so they true. covered six straight, ten and one against spread in the last eleven. I I do think they match up well with Nova because they're going to defend the three. You know both teams aren't huge. I you know, but um, right. I just think they're going to defend the three well. I think it's going to be low scoring. To me, this is the best game left in the tournament I, in terms of like hmm. matchup. In terms of matchup, yeah, I feel like it's just a very, very yeah. even. And I'm going to, you know, I've, I've had Houston against Arizona and I'm going to continue to ride them here. All right, Harry, it was 127. Now it's 128. You're still going under. Still going under. Both teams don't allow a lot inside. Nova held Michigan to just 34% shooting. The last five games, all versus tournament teams for Villanova. Nobody has scored more than 61 points versus them. In those five games, the average opponent score for the game, 57 points. Houston held opponents to 66 or less in eight of the last 10 and held number four seed Illinois to 53 points and 34% shooting for the game. And obviously last night, number one, Arizona seed, just 60 points, 
33% shooting for the game. They forced 43 turnovers in the tournament so far. Mm -hmm. I have the Cougars. I'm going to take under here. All right. Uh, And now this one, Duke, Arkansas. This is a late night, 849 tip Eastern time. Duke, four point favorite, 146 and a half is the over under. I feel like, Harry, we talk about college days. This is the kind of thing where I would have gotten beaten up by Duke. I probably would have had Duke last game. And then I'm like, oh, my God, Duke minus four. What are they doing? Coach K, he can't go out against Arkansas. This is an inferior team that shot 27% from the field two games ago. Their star is cold. They're just kind of doing, you know, getting by on few. I can't even explain how they're doing it. Uh, I'm taking Arkansas, not only because I have that 65 to one ticket there. I just, I, Musselman just has blindfolds on these players and they're getting it done. Um, the line's too rich is all I'm going to say. I don't have much to add here, Bri. I'm, I, I think it should be about two, two and a half, but it's four. I'm jumping on the four with Arkansas. Yeah, I like Arkansas too here. I mean, I think it's going to be another good close game. I think this is going to be similar I think it's going to be similar to the Texas Tech game. The only thing I would say is that times Arkansas's offense can be better than Texas Tech. There are stretches where Texas Tech goes in games where they have trouble scoring. And, you know, we talked about it earlier, but Duke, you know, Duke wouldn't be in this game right now if they weren't perfect, Mm -hmm. uh, essentially, in those last eight or nine minutes. Uh, They've both been great teams against the spread, uh, but uh, Arkansas, well, actually, I should say Arkansas has been great against the spread. You know, and they've covered five straight as underdogs here. I think they keep yep. it close enough um, and they cover it. All right, Harry, you're with us. Now, our parlay kid's going to save this bet for somebody, but you like Arkansas as well. Yeah, I mentioned Jalen Williams. All three games in the tournament, double doubles. Uh, he's been great defensively, down low. Took those two big charges, like I said, uh, against the Zags in the first half. Set the tone. Trey Wade, I, I sent you guys that text last night too. Nine three pointers for the season. He had three versus the Zags. He helps out too. Uh, 18 and three, uh, Arkansas is in the last 21 overall. Two of those three losses have been by a total of five points. Uh, and I just think, again, Brian just mentioned uh, Duke isn't shooting 71% uh, and a half again like they did in the second half last night. So uh, I'm going to take Arkansas plus the four. What points. was that insane stat? Like nine fifth, the last nine fifty, they didn't miss eight, a eight fifty, they didn't miss a free throw. Uh, field goal. Eight fifty five, they didn't miss a shot. What? Yeah, crazy. You don't see that in any eight for eight. <laughs> well, a couple of those were the dunks, but man, all those three pointers and in, in, they all look good. Everything looked good. I told Parlay Kid every shot looked perfect, right? And it was. Yeah, they lined everything up perfectly. Uh, I, I reached out to our friend Todd Furman here, who famously went after Coach Musselman. Um, <laughs> was it last year, I guess it was last year, and then Musselman like pulled the clip of Furman saying it and said, "This guy, uh, this nobody, who does he think he is?" And uh, which was great. And then we bought Furman a. Well, he, Musselman didn't know it, but we uh, bought him like a cameo directed to Todd. And I'm like, Furman, this has to be your worst call ever. And he's like, worse than that, I took Gonzaga last night. And he doesn't, that is, Gonzaga is not a Furman pick. He would never, I don't think he's ever laid double digits in his life. But uh, spite. It was a spite pick. Right, exactly. It was a spite <laughs> pick. But then he's like, I forgot uh, Gonzaga was cotton soft. He said, although I'm like Harry now, I can't win a hockey game if my life depended on it. Is that true, Harry? Uh, I don't know. I got I got hockey coming up in a second. So. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, on Sharp Tank. All right. Uh, Parley Kid, you like Duke. Blue blood. What are we thinking here? Low line. Coach K keeps it going, right? Yeah, I, I like. I wish this was more like two and a half rather than uh, Mm -hmm. four here. I think I do. um, I wish that, but I kind of like the, I kind of smiled at coach K last night at the end of the game when it looked like it finally looked like they won, you know, they went up by four. You smiled at it. Did he see you? I kind of smiled at him. Uh, Like I, he showed some emotion. Like do we have to hear him say, Holy mackerel again, Darren? Uh, Look, 90 years old. I, I, Listen, but uh, for him, I, I, I got to feel that um, sometimes you could just say, is it destiny for right. this team to go all the way? Uh, it might just be, uh, I think Duke really grew up last night in the last 10 minutes of that mm-hmm. game. If they hadn't grown up already, that was like big boy basketball mm-hmm. right there. Clutch shot after clutch shot against maybe the best defensive team in the country. Um Center Mark Williams, I fit, he's averaging 15, seven and a half, and four block shots a game. Uh, we talk a lot about some of these other guys, but he's been fantastic, shooting 76% from the field. Okay. Duke, sh- everybody shoots free throws really well on Duke, which could come in big time mm-hmm. in this game. Right. And like I said, I just think 
Uh, maybe there's a little destiny involved here. I don't know. Uh, but I'll just, I'll take Duke here, minus four. And um, it sounds crazy. I actually might be rooting for them here. <laughs> I, I know. Are we, I, yeah. are we I all, mean, go, we're all going I, to be all I, of a sudden now, aren't we? I, I, it's Not weird. Am I, I, it's, and I like Muscleman. I like Muscleman a lot too. He's a whack job, Muscleman. Yeah, yeah. He is, well, be careful he is a say. lunatic. Be, careful. Yes. be very careful. <laughs> he's a lunatic. Yeah. Right? But I it's he, he's a good lunatic. <laughs> like he's a good lunatic. Right. Like I he's a Darren, guy. He like, was, Darren, my he was kids good in the could Nevada, go play Darren. for Muscleman yeah. before they play for Coach K, as far as I'm concerned. There you go. But I'm going right in Duke here, thinking this might just be like We'll look back. Remember, I said this before. And in my, in our, I'm, I had money on Texas Tech, but on our EP, I have Duke to go to the Final Four mm-hmm. because I just thought maybe that this is what was going to happen. They were going to lose that game. Everybody goes, ah, ha ha, Coach but, K, you lost to UNC, and now who's getting the last laugh? Coach K. Wait a minute. He's getting the last laugh. Brian, when you said Houston was plus three sixty, uh, I didn't know they were their favorite. They're the favorite. They're yeah, the favorite they're to the win favorite. this whole thing. That, that, then Duke is plus four hundred. Oh, shit. So Houston's That's crazy. Duke is they're 400. the favorite. Yeah. Wow. Well, Houston I guess they plus three sixty. You know, Duke four to one. Kansas four ten. Nova seven. Purdue seven. I mean, I guess the thing is right. If you get out of that, if you get out of that game, right, and then if somehow Kansas trips up, right, mm-hmm. then it's like. Uh, you might be kind of walking Bri- to the final. Bri- Arizona, Bri- Arizona average. They're one of the highest scoring teams. They've got like 86 points a game. They, they were lucky <laughs> to get to 60. Oh, yeah. They, they were very yeah, lucky. lucky. No, they were great. They were great. That, uh, and in a way, Kansas, except for it's they're weird, not though. the best team, should be favored, right? They have the easiest run to get yeah. to the finals. I don't know. And then you get them at plus yeah, four. Yeah, it's just because you get the extra game. And those teams yeah, have the extra true, game. Yeah. After this, oh, it'll, yeah, it'll that's switch. Right. Well, that, it'll yeah, that's true. That's a good point. Exactly. It'll just. Kansas will be a favorite. Yeah, what am I thinking? But the sexiest final four is Duke, Carolina, um, Nova, Kansas, or right? Yeah, and I don't and I don't yeah. want to see that, to be honest. No, yeah. no matter what I'm picking, I'd like to see Houston or someone. <sighs> yeah. I don't know. Yeah. If I had to, who would you I want, want to take Iowa out State of that? Maybe, winning it all. I know. maybe Kansas yeah. I'd almost want to take out of that. I don't mm-hmm. know. 